Hi everyone, I'm George. I'm Sarah. And welcome to this episode of Tropica Live. So excited. We've got a couple of special guests, including Sarah. We've got Jan, who we'll introduce later. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Uh, please do use the live chat. I'm actually going to be using it this evening. So you have an opportunity to ask me questions directly. And then I can be a conduit between myself and the guys actually mm -hmm. doing the demo as well. So that's super exciting. Uh, thanks everyone uh, that supported this project, including Amazonia, of course, all the Tropica team as well. And uh, let's move on over to the next thing. Thank you. So we have our giveaways threat stream and we have got some lovely Tropica merch and we have a video for you. So Hello everyone. This is Jan. Hello. Hello everyone. So Jan is from the Czech Republic. That's correct. And you've got a lot of Wabi Kusas and do you aquascape as well? Yeah, I have a lot of pictures of one Wabi Kusa. Is it <laughs> and just one? one aquascape, yes. Oh, okay. This is just one aquascape. Okay, one. I thought you would a lot more than that. Um, mm. Do we have any pictures of Jan's work? We have his uh, Instagram. His Instagram. Because you got I actually thought you had more than one Wabi Kusa. No, I just have it's a just one. just the one? Yeah, just the one. That's a lot of pictures. I don't know, it was too much stuff. <laughs> no, how long has it been running? The, the, the Vabekusa? Yep. Two, hours, I don't know, three months or Is so. Is that all? Yeah. Wow, okay. Do you find it grows fast once it starts? Uh, some plants uh, grow fast, like a rainy kimini. Okay. Was, that overtook almost everything. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty fast. So did you use that as a, was it a tissue culture you used with that one or? No, I, originally I took the Vabicusa because, or the ball, because mm -hmm. I was set to throw away the cuttings from my aquarium. Ah, okay. So therefore uh, okay. I use the Vabicusa. Okay. You can put the, your cuttings into it and they will grow. Okay. Now, we didn't just pick Jan because he's using Vabicusas. There was another reason we picked Jan, and that's actually because Jan is our 100k winner from the previous stream. <laughs> what did you win in the end? What did I win? What uh, did you win? Three days here in Denmark. Yeah, it's nice. A uh, company of George and Radu. Of it's course. Awesome. We had a couple of beers yesterday on hey. the roof of the... Uh, there is a, some viewpoints in the house. Oh, nice. And uh, today I get a tour around the Tropica facilities, which yep. is awesome. It was quite huge. Bigger than I thought it is. It is big. It is big. <laughs> and now we are doing the live stream. We are. And tomorrow, I guess we will do much more touring. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So, Wabi Kusa. Um, for those of you who don't know, Wabi Kusa has, like Aquascape, and come from Japan. And it's, Wabi Kusa is a Japanese word, and it loosely translates as imperfect beauty nature plant and it's all about how living plants can be beautiful but they're temporary so with the wabikusa we have a small flower arrangement basically it actually comes from a mix of ikebana and bonsai the way aquascaping does so you get to combine all of these different hobbies could call them hobbies yeah more artistic or less. styles artistic artistic styles and there are different styles. Now, mm -hmm. at home, what do you have with your Wabikusa? Do you have, is it in a, a closed container or an uh, open one? I have a closed container because oh. I select the, the closed because I took the cuttings out of my aquarium. So 
If okay. you put it to the close, mm -hmm. there is a bigger humidity and therefore... Yep. Makes sense, because you have a list. Therefore, the, the plants can acclimatize better, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, but you're not actually using a closed one today? No, no, actually remove the Wabiku Sabol because it was a long time since I removed the lid like so. Okay. So there was natural air, basically. Okay. So I hope they translate it yes. already to a yeah. state. So this is what you're going to use? Yeah, this is what I choose. I choose yeah. this Dua short. Mm, yes, so we're both actually using Dua. Um, so I am using a Dua Shizuku, I get this right? Shizuku yeah. vase <laughs> with a lid. And this is actually provided by our sponsor, which is Amazonia. And they've provided us with the Dua set. We've got a few more bits of equipment that's just off the side. And Jan is using, if I get this right, a Dua Neo, Neo Air. Air. Yeah, something like Because it's is. got the, uh, the the little air gap at the bottom. And this yep. is, is this 20 centimeters by? It's 20 by 20 by um, five, five or six. Like six much. centimeters of water and three centimeters mm. of free space below it. Okay. Now, I've actually heard that a closed container like this one with a lid is a bit more beginner friendly. Does that Definitely, fit in with what it is. You think? Yeah, I think you close it, and uh, humidity contains by itself, and yep. plants down don't dry out. So I mm. think it's. Did you need to take the lid off at all to let fresh air in, or were the holes? Mm, I I did it mainly for the, um, how to say, for, for the purpose of vision. <laughs> Let's okay. call it because when you close it and you mm -hmm. fill it with the water, yep. it gets foggy. So ah, you have to okay. open it, remove it, and, and let it clean the inside. The yes. Okay, because I've heard if you have ones that are completely sealed, you can actually get mold growing, and that it's a good idea to take the lid off and wave some fresh air in, yeah. fan it, and then. Yeah, and I also mm. put the, the small creatures, which are called spring oh. springtails. Is that yeah. like a little white, white, like a white spider bug. or something? Or it's not a spider; it's like a bug, like a okay. little uh, small bug. And they are jumping. So oh, really? You put them in on purpose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, was wow. searching for them in Pilsen, yeah, and really? I luckily found some breeder, or oh, if you breed cool. them, I don't know. <laughs> that is cool. So, nice. with the Wabikusa, because obviously if you have an aquarium, like we have an aquarium over here, you need to have um, plug sockets for the light, the heater if you have one, and the filter, and any other equipment. With the Wabikusa, is it, is it, do you need a light on them? I do have a light on my own. own yes. Okay, but there's nothing else that uses plug sockets. No, no, just no. A, just a light is sufficient. So it's quite minimalist then, and it's maybe a little bit easier to place around your house. Yeah, I would I would think about it as a decoration more than the, something else. Yeah, no, it's quite of boring. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. it doesn't nothing moves in it. So. No, I guess it's. <laughs> but it's lovely. It's a bit like having a a plant. On a table yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yes. Okay. You can put it on a shelf or something. Yeah. So, as we have said, I'm using the Shinzuka. You're using the Neo Glass here, and you've got this here. Yeah. Do you want to tell people about that? Yeah, this is a steel hanger. <laughs> I would call it. And the uh, purpose of this, I guess, is uh, to put it on the rim of your tank. Mm -hmm. And I place the ball in it, so it will be suspended, so it will not be laying on the on the ground itself, but it will be lifted slightly. Yep. So it will be partially okay. will be submerged in the water, the ball, and partially will be immersed. Yep. So I hope, because you need to have a, the Wabikusa ball must sit in the water. Okay. Just to take out now, the water. I actually made a ball, and we have a video for that. So if we cut to the video, we'll come back after that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
and we've actually got the ball I made, which is this one here. And then we, well, I'm saying we, Radu made a ball with a different technique. <laughs> so if I get the balls okay. out. Shall I do it so you yeah, sure, will not get dirty? One. I'll be filthy soon, don't worry. So, so this is the ball I made and it's a softer ball. It's quite squidgy. We bring it down. Yeah, sorry. So this one is quite soft, quite squidgy, and this is a stone with soil, moss, and it's all wrapped with fishing line. And then we did we put a hairnet. We also put a hairnet over this one as well, because it is quite, quite soft, and you can mould it, but it should be very easy to plant into. And yes. then Radu's ball. He's just run to get some paper because we're making a mess. <laughs> So Radu made the ball differently, and see if I get this right, he used wet soil and he put cocoa, uh, coconut fibre around yeah. the edge and packed it all into a shape. Then he used fishing lime to go around the ball. And then on, on top of that, there's a moss layer that's also tied down with fishing lime. And this one is a lot firmer. Um, we think it will be less messy as well. It does, yes. Because of, of the cocoa fibre will help keep in some of the, the dirt that comes off. And they both fit on the little hook. But, but I think I will go with your Do you? Yeah, I think mine, <laughs> yeah. was, mine one is much better than Radu's one. And it will be easier planting. Instead yeah. of it. But this one, because it's so hard, you need to stab into it with the tweezers. Tweezers closed, stab in, and then you make a small hole and you plant into the hole. But they're both very easy to make at home. Do you make your own balls or do you buy them? No, no, no. I was actually approached by the guy from the Czech Republic, which is doing them. Oh, and okay. he did send one of them for me. Oh, that was nice of him. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Is it a soft ball or is it a hard one? Is it a hard one? Is it like a, like a radius one okay. with a coconut without the, without the life moss in it? Oh, okay then. So I guess we're ready to start. Sure thing, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So I, I think I will start with the sand on the bottom and okay. I will build, I will divide it into the two stage. First I will, this will be eventually submerged in the water. So I want to put the sand in it and then the, some rock formation together with the wood. Mm -hmm. And uh, between those rocks I will place some Busa and uh, mm, Anubias. Oh nice. And then I put the ball in it and I will place, I will plant the ball. Okay, so I'm going to. for a different style, yep. because Wabikusas tend to either have a, a ball or just dirt. And with this being a round lid, the lid is not that big. Um, I can get my hand in with no problems, but I thought I would make a more of a, a sandy section with soil at the back and then water yeah. Yeah. in the front. That's going to be nice. I hope so. I hope so. We all so, yep. And we have our giveaway question. So what is the name of the plant that we released on the 1st of April? And if you need a hint, have a look on our on Tropica Aquarium Plants Instagram page. It was the one fun one. one. <laughs> mm. So if I move the sand over. Do you need also the uh, soil? I need soil as well. Powder if we have powder, it. Powder, yeah. Is it a powder? I think the yes. big bag is powder. Big powder, big yeah. is a powder. Um, yes. I'll put this on the floor actually. Okay. Um, oh, the answers are coming in. Oh. Sure. So the answers are coming in. <laughs> Ants. They're quick. I'm a bit worried about putting too much soil in this one. Yeah, me as well. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Maybe too much is better yeah. than too less. So do you know which plants you want to start with? Yeah, as I said, I will start with, uh, with the part which will be below the water. But so which I will plant species? Do you yeah, think I will go with uh, Anubias. Anubias? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Anubias. Oh, what is that? <laughs> okay. I think we have a video for Anubias. I think we're making a mess and Radu's shaking his head at us. 
I'm actually going to have to look up the, the proper name because I can't remember what you actually. The Latin name for the, the new plant. Yeah. Hmm. Well, actually, kind of, I, know, I know you're there. So if I add too much salt, can I just pour it out the top? <laughs> Is that allowed? <gasps> no one's actually got it. Really? Absolutely bang on with the right like punctuation marks and Oh really? I've actually got it perfectly <laughs> oh. right yeah. So you, if you can let people know no one's got it perfectly right. So, so they keep guessing with exactly the right we, spellings, uppercase, lowercase, mm. full stop in the right place. Oof. Apostrophes it. Yeah. It has to be bang on. So yeah. The new plants, we need the full scientific name. So capital letters in the right place, apostrophes, full stops, if there's quotation marks, all of these things, it has to be 100% right. perfect. Yeah. yeah. George's stuff, you know. George is quite fussy <laughs> about this. Correct spelling is a love language. <laughs> there we go. Um, okay, yes, I'm sorry. So I would assume you would agree with that one of the hardest things about making these is hardscape that fits in. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> like and then the planting. Because mm. I, I, I had a ball. It, it, that ball does have a nine centimeters in diameter, mm. and when I planted it, I had a hard time to put my hand with the ball oh <laughs> inside no. of it. <laughs> yeah, it was a, mm. quite a learning mm. curve there. <laughs> Do you have a favorite plant in your aquarium or in Wabikusas? Yeah, I like a Cryptocorina parva a lot. Do you? I quite like Crips. George is a big fan of Crips, actually. I love yeah, Crips. I know. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do something really crazy now. I'm going to say, film you two for a vlog. Oh, George, <laughs> not the vlog again. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Beautiful. How's Magnificent. Look? How does it look That's from great. the front? Yeah, yeah perfect. Paint. It's quite nice working in this small space, actually. <laughs> it's probably going to be really quite frustrating at times, but it's quite enjoyable. Have you talked about Rachel's tank yet? We haven't. Not really, actually, because this is Rachel's tank. Lovely, isn't it? It is really nice. Um, it's grown in really nicely. We've got lots of shrimp in here. And we might have some otter in here. Yep, we do. There's a nice fat one on the back wall. Do you want to know a little secret? I did a water change on that earlier. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it looked a bit clean. What would you say the main difference is between like, something like that and this? What's sort of the main advantages of this over that, would you say? Well, water changes is probably the place to start because if you've got an aquarium like this, you have to do your water changes. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the, the plants will struggle and the animals will struggle. Yeah. So this is like basically much lower maintenance, easier to keep. Lower maintenance, yeah, it, it is. Set up. It is. Yeah. Though I can see that you've obviously taken some things from aquascape because you've got quite typical aquascape and hardscape set up going <laughs> here. Yeah, I did. I yeah. tried to make it different. You do. Let's so, see how mm. it goes out. <laughs> yeah. Actually. So do you have a plan in your mind? Because you've made a barrier basically. Yeah. All the way across. My plan is to use the Anubias and the Musa Flanders. Although in all those gaps. So you'll push them in? Yes, I will just rocks. wingle it, them in and let's see how it goes from that. What's your plan? My plan is to have my wooden hardscape mm -hmm. and I'm going to like you pushed Boots of Landra mm -hmm. and small Anubias in. And I'll also be tying some moss on in places and probably some other epiphytes. Aha, uh -huh. you will be tying it, so I have to take it out. I will. <laughs> but I want to just check to see how the placement works. I was thinking about having a sandy section in the front, mm -hmm. but I now think it might be too much. Mm -hmm. Can I start with the planting? I think so. I think oh. I'm going to start with planting. Or I will start, start with the ball, so oh. I, I see if, if it is fitting, fitting in. Hopefully it does. Yep. Yeah, great, perfect. Mm. So I think I am going to start with the moss. Sorry. 
we have our trays over here. So I have a few epiphytes. I think I'll get all my epiphytes and bring them over. It sounds like a good idea. Okay, so I have Hygrophila pinnatifida, one of my favorite plants. It's a bit of a brute, but I'm just going to check and see if we have a plant profile video for this one. Uh, I think we do. I think we might actually. This is my, we don't have plant profiles for all the plants, so let me just check. We do. Uh, can we have a video from us? Yep. Yeah. And my first plant will be the Anubias, but I am not sure which which one is it. So uh, that <laughs> uh, looks like petite or petite yeah. to petite. me. Yeah. yeah, and I'm sure we do have a video for it. I'm not right. sure. Petite. Petite. Do we have a video for petite, uh, Thomas? No. Not petite, no? unfortunately. We do we have any other small Anubias videos you could show, maybe? Mm, no Anubias. No, no Anubias. Oh, that's a pity. Well, I have some Bucephalandra that I'm also going to be using. So I have some Bucephalandra Red. Do we have a Bucephalandra Red video? No Bucephalandra. No Bucephalandra Red. What do you know about Bucephalandra? Bucephalandra. Um, oh, should we have? It's an epiphyte plant. It right? is an epiphyte plant. It's an epiphyte plant. It's quite a nice plant, and it is a lot smaller than Anubius, um, normal Anubius. So all Bucephalandras are quite small, so if you have a small aquarium and you want a nice epiphyte, then it's a very, very good choice. Um, the other small plants, if you're not using Bucephalandra, you need to use things like Petite or Mini Coin. And Bucephalandra comes from, let me get this right, Asia such as, is it Borneo? Is it in Papua New Guinea as well? Just Borneo? Just Borneo. Gosh, and um, Anubias is Central American. African. African? Is it African? Oh, George is good at these. <laughs> so does, does America have an epiphyte plant? Um, Anybody know? Hard question. That is a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hard. does the chat know? Well, most plants can be grown up particularly if you think about it, all hydroponics are epiphytes. True. Hmm. If you put them enough nutrition into the water column, I guess. Switch down to you, young. Yep. Yeah. I'm using, at this moment, I'm using Busaflandra Kedegang, if I'm not mistaken. And for that, we must have a video, yeah. right? Yeah. We probably do, but we might not have. We have a lot of videos to show about stem plants and other plants today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how many we actually have for the epiphytes. Okay. So I'm tying my fish line onto my wood and I'm doing the knot on the back just to hide the long line. It's, it's not needed, it's just I'm a bit fussy about that kind of thing. So. Uh, And I am quickly trying to... Do you need help? No, no, no. Hold something. <laughs> I'm good in holding. <laughs> We've got two teams here today. Okay, it's a competition. It's, a com <laughs> it's no. always a competition. Always a competition. Can we say that? I would not. <laughs> Friendly competition. Friendly, yeah. Friendly Let's competition. Let's go with that. Yeah. I'm not sure if we're doing Tropica versus non-Tropica, if it's men versus women today. 
<laughs> I would not go with competition <laughs> at all. It was up to me. Mm, yeah. So, are you going to be tying anything onto your? Oh, I forget to play something on the boat. You are right, and I I run out of everything. So. <gasps> what do you need? Can I cannibalize yours? Yes. Point? What do you need? Something, some epiphyte. <laughs> An epiphyte. <laughs> you have to okay, mini, I will, I will. my mini coin. Or mini you coin, my no, moss? No, 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 no. Which epiphyte I, I, do you need? I will, I will, I will, I will manage. Okay then. I'm, I'm used to work with a limited amount of plants, you know, <laughs> <laughs> because I don't have a huge amount, huge greenhouse in the front, so I cannot take everything what I it's want. It's a bit like going into a sweet shop if you're a kid. Yeah, it was awesome. You just yeah. could take everything with you on. Well, thanks, George. <laughs> Thank you, George. Pleasure. Not to be of assistance. Yeah. <laughs> You're a lucky escape then. <laughs> if I put it there, I, I am afraid that it will dry out if I will put them out of the water just to the mm. wood. So, yeah, I will stick it here. Yeah. It must be okay. So how high will the water be? All the way to the top? Yeah, I would like to have it right to the top. Oh. And, oh, oops, sorry. Oh. And uh, I will put some floating plan, floating mm. plants into it. In our case, how is it called? Salvinia. Yes. Salvinia. Yep. It is. Okay, Do you have a preference for floating plants when you make these? Yeah, my favorite is... Uh, Philanthus, someone could. Philanthus fluitans. Yes, exactly. It does have a really nice uh, red, red root. Flow red root. Yes. Mm. And uh, it's easy to scoop it out, you know. Okay. It's I've never used them. Never. Never. I put the, put them into every scape because they help remove the you know, nutrition mm. nutrients out of the okay. water. Okay. I used to use floating plants a lot when I first started, then I just stopped using them. Um, I'm not even sure why I stopped using them. I don't know, neither. Maybe oh. they blocked the light? It probably, probably they blocked the lights. Um, but I used to use them a lot when I was breeding uh, betas because they were quite good for them to put their nests in. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just because I was using them so much then I just wanted to change. Mm -hmm. I see. Do you go through phases where you have plants you do or don't like using? No, I'm quite new in this hobby, so. How long have you been doing it? Three years. Three years. Yeah. Okay. Three years. Three tanks. Three years. Three tanks. Three years. The same tanks or different ones? Mm, I have one, 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 and I escape it every year. Okay. Because yeah. I'm entering to IAPLC. Ah. Issue. At least there were two ILPSCs, and I, I was competing in both of them. So. Oh, that's nice. Did you do well? Were you happy with how you did? Yeah, of course. Uh, first, first, this was like uh, I am part of it, so it was mm -hmm. it felt great. And yeah. Uh, yeah, it's getting better. This yeah, year. it's nice to <laughs> I hope that, that uh, this year I will be below mm. 1000. That's my goal. Yeah. Let's see. I can use the epiphyte. Yeah. I think. Oh, we have a question. So, <laughs> is, is this from you, Raddy? Yeah. <laughs> so, Raddy would like to know if you could be any aquarium plant, Jan, what would you be? I already answered that question. Oh, did you? What <laughs> yeah. plant would you be? Yeah, I would be Cryptocarina Parva. <laughs> you would? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. What, what would you be? What do, would you, know, you be? I have never actually asked myself that question before. Never? Never, no. I've never thought, what aquarium plant would I be? Me I neither, could, but no. they asked me yesterday, so <laughs> <laughs> I already came up with the, um, with, with the answer. Probably Rotala. Rotala? Yeah, mainly. Which one? There is a plenty oh. of them, I guess. Um... I'm tempted to say bonsai, actually. Bonsai? Bonsai. I'm not quite sure why, though. <laughs> it's a lovely plant. It is a lovely Short plant. One, it I is. Guess. I quite like it. It's quite nice, and I like the way it trims. Mm -hmm. So, did you have a reason for why you wanted to be... <laughs> Parva. Parva. No, no particular reason. I just like it. You just like it. Well, that's a good I will reason. show it to you. I, I do have it for my Verbicusa. This is a Cryptocarina yeah. Parva. It is nice. It stays uh, such... In this, this height, I guess. Mm. It is a lovely plant. Yeah. It's quite slow grower, but it's really nice. Okay, yeah. hey, I think I, I can start with the planting of the ball. Yep. Do we have a video for Parva? Yeah, we do. Okay. Oh, let's have a Parva video. Here it is. So, 
So the amount of plants we've got. A huge amount of plants. We've got a huge <laughs> amount of plants. Yes. Um, For such a small bowl. It is, but I guess that's the thing with Wabikusas because we're trying to make an impact in a small area and we're using plants, making them grow differently to how we normally would. Yeah. yeah. Do you find you use more plant species per size of your tank at home in your Wabikusa compared to your I'm collecting one? the plants uh, as I go through the hobby, so I have a plenty of plants inside oh, okay. of my tanks. But for the Wabikusa, you can just go with, uh, with the trims off from your aquarium. Mm. So you, you, we usually need just a couple of stems of each, but obviously we couldn't cut them, so we took a whole, whole pot. Yeah. So yeah. Therefore we have a, such a small amount of, there are a huge amount of the plants, right? Mm, that's true. <laughs> but, but for the start you don't need that. You, you can always put your trimmings from the aquarium or as the ball grows, you cut it and you, you plant it right away. Yeah. Back. So. Do you ever let your aquarium plants grow to the surface and past the surface? They go into their immersed form? Uh, not at my main because uh, my lights are quite. Yeah, I'm using uh, Monte Carlo now, and oh. this will be the first time I try to blend in your bowl. Oh, so it's quite cross nice. your fingers. You might find it's easier if you use smaller clumps, but it's into sand. No, so it goes to here. Ah, I want to go oh, to here. Oh, yeah, oh, the ball. Oh, I, and I, the idea is that it will be creeping down. Yeah, oh, that'll be nice. So I guess it's you can just shove it in the hole. Yeah. Hope so. <laughs> I will try to shove it in the hole. <laughs> okay, I'm shoveling in the hole. Awesome. This is exactly how I want it. <laughs> that looks quite good, actually. Can I say hi to my wife, which is back home? Yeah. Okay. Hi, honey. I appreciate that you are taking care of my, our, our daughter yeah. while I'm here. Aquascaping and playing with the George. Yeah. Playing with the George. Playing with George. I love it. Nice guy. No. <laughs> what, what was it? I said, how, how are you finding it? And you said, maximum enjoyment. Max Max maximum enjoyment. <laughs> enjoy yeah. Mm. Uh, it's hard. Uh, question from Rachel. Oh. Uh, Jan and Sarah, you're doing great. Yay, great. Thanks, thank you. Rachel. Thank you very much. Uh, question for Jan. What got you into aquascaping? Uh, it was, uh, I, I get bored on the power plant and I was watching on the internet and I saw the videos on the green machines and I found them very really fascinating, but it looks really expensive. <laughs> so I Google more and I watched more YouTube videos and I stumbled across the George Farmer's mm. channel. And yeah, he did make some uh, easy, easy looking scapes. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I, yeah. I could try to do that as well. Mm. And then so I did. And <laughs> that's, yeah. that's about it. And then, I, and then there's more watching of the videos on over the internet. Yeah, and there's so always more watching of the videos. Okay, okay now always. I'm using the uh, mm. Pogostemon Helfery. Helfery. Yes, it's, it's Helfery. Okay. Uh, question, another question for you, Jan, uh, from Mariam. Uh, what size is your tank? Uh, I think they mean on there. What size is the tank you're doing there? This one? Yeah. 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, and this is a five or eight. Eight, yeah. Eight and five would I would say water. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. So you said that you first. It was a combination of the green machine and George that got you into the hobby, really. Then. Yeah, yeah. Green machine used the uh, ADA equipment mainly, and ah, also yeah. the soil and everything which goes below the yeah. soil. Makes sense. Yes. So, oh, sorry. Uh, Jan, sorry, another question for oh. you. Oh, it's getting for fun. Good. Uh, about your home tank, what size is that? It's a custom made, 80 centimeters wide, 40 centimeters high, and uh, 30 centimeters deep. Okay. Oh, it's, it's not very deep then. It did not, and it's my, it's my issue, main issue, oh, because I cannot okay. build the layers in it. No. No. Yeah. But that can actually teach you some skills, you know, to actually uh, force yourself to create depth in a shorter space. So yeah, it can. can. Yeah. Like in the front, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. do have a, such a strip, small amount of strip of the yeah. of the first layer, which is the same mm. in my case. Sorry, how high did you say your tank was? 40 centimeters. 40 centimeters, mm -hmm. and it was, I'm just thinking visualizing dimensions here. So it's quite narrow compared to a standard competition tank. It, yeah, it and does not have the competition. Dimensions, no. I would say. How long did you say it was? 
what? The 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 length. Of Eighty. Eighty. Mm -hmm. So it's <coughs> it's fairly cinematic in a way, then, because it's not very high. Mm -hmm. So you've got quite a wide view. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we have another question. So what was it like to meet George in real life? And was there any difference between video George and real life George? Yeah, yeah first thing what I told George is that he's uh, much shorter than I thought it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but other than that, he's... Uh, <laughs> so, come on, quick, stand, stand, stand. No. Yeah, but everyone is taller than me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Trolls is like oh, yeah, he's a huge yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, trolls is huge. Yeah. Are we allowed to call trolls a giant? Because he is extremely <laughs> tall. <laughs> giant. Peaceful giant, I would say. Yeah, he is. He's a very, very nice man. But he's definitely one of these tall Danes. So I've got my bit of wood ready to go in my tank now. I think I've got it positioned properly. So I've got my Christmas boss and my Bisflandra red. And hopefully, I've got this angled right. I guess that's the nice thing about these vases as well. You can always tilt them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's a good way, yeah. It's totally true. Do you need some parva? I, I think um, I, I would like some parva. Okay. Thank you. Let's, okay, and just yep. this one as well. Right now, I would put in some... Ah. George's favorite plant. Simon's is 50 freebie. Mm. Oh, yeah. Is it the right one? Yeah, yeah, love that. Okay. There's even t shirts about on. Are there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they your t shirts? Well, no. But my idea. Your idea. Yeah. Stool is the next thing. <laughs> Stool? Yeah. Step ladder? I, need, I always need a step ladder. It's like a tiny stool. Like miniature stool. Oh, that mini stool. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. Do you ever sit and st look at your aquariums, or are they more something you see when you go past them? There was a during the corona, I, I was sitting in front of the aquarium and drinking a coffee were you? <laughs> a lot of time because mm. we were home officing and ah uh, uh, yeah. So during that the coffee breaks, sense. I went there. Yeah, I was actually working all the way through corona. Me as well. Yeah. Luckily, I, I get a great job, so. Mm. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. So, can I fit this in that little gap? Definitely. I Do you think? think? Yeah. yeah. I think I need more soil, though. Soil, soil. Yep, I you have must some. have it. Mm. I totally forget about that one, this one. Ooh. Alter. Alternatheria Raniki. Alternate yes, we, we, we Rosafolia, that one. The very Is it the Rosafolia? Yeah, because we, yeah, we want to avoid the one to grow. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So I this see. one, I want to put there to, to have some colors yeah. over here between the green mm. things. And we have a video. <coughs> Do. I think we have an Alternantra yeah. video. Yeah, yeah. Great, we are back. back yes, we are back. Yes. So I, what I was about to say is that I wanted to use the red plant in the middle of the green, so we do have just some mm, kind of color contrast. popping. Yeah. Yeah. Is that something you think about with the different colors and the leaf shapes? Yeah. Yeah. I tried to do so. I had the two variants of the Vabicusa. One was the spiky, <laughs> where mm -hmm. where I used the Erectus and the Stellatus mm. and Helferin and so. And there was the more rounded leaves. And there I would go with uh, help me with the names. <laughs> uh, is it a Rotala? Rotalas and uh, the Echinodorus. Ah, the, the taller plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So did you used one of those in a Wabicusa? No, never. Oh, okay. I've never used the no. Echinodorus. Because I've heard that you can use, um, some species can be used in Wabicusas, but most are not appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have on my list. So with the Echinodorus, you can use Paleofolius Echinodorus. 
is okay for Wabi Kusas. Mm -hmm. And you can use um, Rennie as an alternative species, but Blaheri are meant to struggle. This is what I wanted to take uh, Rennie and put it into, re into it, so it will be main focal plant. Mm. And it will be growing inside it. I, ho I hope I get... Because that one gets uh, reddish, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I would like to have that one. Okay. Quick look at the front of mine. It's coming along quite nicely. Uh, let's shovel it in. Yeah. <laughs> Like would say the uh, biggest lesson you could uh, teach other beginners, Jan, that you've learned in your three years in the hobby? In my three years. Yeah. Do your water changes. I would, <laughs> this would be the first. Yeah. And use the good substrate at the beginning. Because at my, as my first one, I used the... Can I name the other brands? Or yeah, of course. Okay. I used the JBL Manado and I found it, it was quite light so any disturbance you get all the soil all over it so i was not happy with that at all so i switched to the tropica actually <laughs> yeah and i must say that that one is really great yeah. uh -huh. good. and yeah good plants are always helping to have yeah healthy plants to healthy plants with. Yeah. to start yeah. with and uh yeah i am actually doing the your rule george which is a when I start up the tank, I, I do water change every day during yeah. the first week, every second day during the second yeah, yeah, week perfect. and the third day. Yeah, 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 That's you. helping. <laughs> yeah, that is a, it is a very, it seems like a lot of water. Uh, Throwing away. A lot of water. Yeah, yeah. If you can recycle the water, maybe water your plants with it at home. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely. You know, we, yeah, and just, but if you want to avoid algae, it's the biggest thing is to change the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay, I've got some more questions. Uh, Sounds good. From Barbaro. Question for Jan. Greetings from Rosno Pod. Yeah, the, those are my friends yeah. from Czech Republic. Uh, how, <laughs> how does your dream aquarium look? How am I? Yeah, dream aquarium? aquarium. Yeah. Like 90p, I would like to buy. Yeah, like a full system. Yeah. yeah. I would like to. Yeah, thanks for spring. <laughs> I would like to buy the, like the proper kit, let's say. Like Oase or. Mm. ADA or something like that because yeah, yeah. right now I'm uh, more Budget. custom made budget yes and mm. uh, do it yourself light and so on yeah and by the way I am using the Rotala bonsai. your favorite yeah bonsai, bonsai. Yeah, this is a bonsai that's a lovely plant so uh, I would definitely yeah. mm. upgrade my my kit at home yeah but yeah. there are priorities in the light mm. and uh, there are, there aquariums are, are not yeah. at our priority no moment. And I mean, that's one of the nice things about what we're doing now is because obviously we're using these nice, um, nice products, nice product. Exactly. Yeah. And obviously we've, we've had them from our sponsor from Amazonia. Um, and they've actually got um, a nice video. Should we put the video on while we're doing some planting actually? Yeah. yeah. There's that plant with the flowers, what you, you were looking the through. The plant with the flowers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is, uh, so I've got this right, <coughs> Lindernia rundifloria. And the reason we actually picked this is it wasn't on the original list, but we were going through the greenhouse and it has lots of flowers on it at the moment. And it's got these beautiful white, what would you say, trumpet flowers? Yeah, it looks like trumpet. Trumpet flowers that are white with blue stripes inside. And we just thought, it looks lovely. It looks <laughs> nice, and yeah. with Wabikusa, obviously, a lot of the plants will flower. Yeah. yeah. And we thought it seems silly not to use these um, because they look nice. They look. Basically. They look nice. <laughs> exactly. That's it's that simple. Really. They look nice. Is it simple like this? It looks nice, and we all like pretty plants. I think that's the main reason we do this. 
in the hobby in general. Do you find your plants flower? Only plant which you I was to able to, to flower was a Bosaphalandra. Oh, okay. A red. Yeah. Mm. Have you seen the Amazonia Wabikusa that they entered in a competition last no, year? No, I, I did not. We have a video. <laughs> Welcome back. So, just looking to see if we have any more plant videos for you. Um, I'm actually planting at the moment Mirophilia matrigrosensa, and I think we have a plant profile video for that one. You get that, Thomas? We've been planting a little bit sneakily while you're watching the video. So this is the plant we've just been planting. Um, Merithela matagrosensa. Nice plant. Um, I've put some on this side of mine and you've put some growing. On this side, yes. It's quite stiff actually, this plant. It does, yeah. Feels like nice little accent. So I divided basically my Vabicusa also into different layers, I would call them. You have, you have. Yeah, yeah I have a foreground, I have mm -hmm. a mid-ground. You do? And now I will start with a background With plants. a background part. Yeah, I, I yeah. do have a free space here. Really. You do, have I? <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> it's this big. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny space. Four so, centimeters by three? Yeah, I'm good with the tight spaces. Mm. Yeah. Is it okay planting into the softball? Yeah, it's extreme, extremely is comfortable, it, yeah. <laughs> is it easier than with a harder one? Uh, or does yeah. it, do you think it varies depending on plant it's, it's type? It's totally different, yeah. Okay. With a hard, <laughs> with a, with a hard one, you, 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 must, you must prepare it prepare. somewhere aside. Okay. I, was not, I would not be able to get, do it in this scape, I think. Okay, so you can do it denser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So... I need something more. Our viewers, you said you had some friends that were viewing. Yeah, they should be yeah. watching now. They should be, and we should have our partners watching as well. If they're not watching, they'll be in trouble when we get home. One <laughs> question to you, Sarah. Okay. Uh, do you have a tank at your home, and what style is it? Um, at the moment, I've got my big tank, which is actually an ADA 90P. Excellent. My Ex excellent. Tank. <laughs> That's the one I use for competitions. And then I've got a shrimp aquarium. Oh. which is where I've got my PRL population. So that's um, Caradina Caradina, pure red lime. Then my husband also scapes, so he has a tank which is for shrimp. <laughs> and that's where we keep my blue bolts. <laughs> and I'm actually planning on setting up a tank over the next few weeks, a new shrimp aquarium, because I'm changing over from a small tank to a bigger tank, to a fluble spec 16 actually. And then I also want to set up a tank that's going to be a Wabikusa, maybe Paludarium type thing, a mm -hmm. shallow tank, maybe, I think it's about 45 centimetres, mm -hmm. 10 centimetres high, mm -hmm. and it's about 30 deep. Yeah. I do like a shallow tanks. I, I had one as well. It's yeah. nice to get something out of it. It is, it is, and I'm a bit obsessed with things growing out of my tank at the out moment. Out of the control. <laughs> yeah, and big bits of wood coming out. Mm -hmm. So I guess I've got three tanks at the moment. Three? Three. Three. Three tanks. Which is a lot better than it used to be a few years ago. <laughs> so it got a bit carried away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So I, right now I would like to, okay, hold on. Right now I would like to plant this uh, Pogostemon. Stellata. 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 Yeah, Stellata. And we don't have a video for we that We don't one. have a video. Oh, yeah. okay. There was still a room we to do, grow, you know. Do you have any Pogostemon um, health fairy that you're going to be using? Health fairy I already used and I think you we played that. the video. Have we had right. a video for Pogostemon health fairy? I think we already. Can our viewers tell us? Did you see a video? <laughs> we have one, but I can't remember for sure. No, okay. We haven't showed it. Should we show that video, Thomas? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello again. Hi. So, so we were just talking about how far along we are with the planting. I'm about 50%. And what about you, Jan? How far I am 85.7%. Yeah. <laughs> that Almost is done. precise. Yeah. Almost done. It looks nearly finished actually from here. It does look awesome. It looks really <laughs> good. Yeah, great. Really, really good. I think we're all kind of stood here going, wow. <laughs> Sarah needs to up the I, game here. She's like, I am Tropica. lucky that it is not the competition. Yeah, it would look nice in a competition, I think. Have you entered Wabikusa competitions? No, 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 no. I did not. But I already moved my Wabikusa out of the, the Shizuku. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I put it into the bowl. bowl and ah. I have it in, in my conference desk. Oh, okay. And my daughter is playing with that. So. Oh, no, <laughs> like a little sandpit. Yeah, <laughs> she's pretending to spray it as I, as I Aww, do. Oh, well, that's cute. Yeah, it is. Helpful. Definitely cute. How old is she? One and a half years old. Oh, okay. Do you find it's easy to do a wabi kusa with a child compared to aquascaping? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm doing just the maintenance with her, and sometimes it's a pain. Yes. <laughs> 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 because you have to watch her. <laughs> every There's time. helpers. Yes. They, they, she's trying to help. You can, you can, yeah. you can see it clearly. That's always good fun. Yeah. Do any of our viewers have kids that help them with their aquariums? Or pets, possibly? My erectus is not erected. Yeah. Look at the screen. So. And where are people watching from? We've I hope there is a plenty of Czech people. Hey. There must be other people. It can't just be Czech viewers today. <laughs> How many people is watching? How many people are watching? Yeah. Do we have good numbers? Oh. That's great, right? Or not? He might be lying to us. Now I have a difficulties. Mm, me too. Ooh. I'm He's trying to get my flower at the front. I have to go. Mm. By the way, I'm. Yeah, it's pointing him. I am trying to plant the Pogostemon erectus right now. And I'm struggling to keep it erected. <laughs> <laughs> I'm attempting to plant the Lindernia rundiflora with the pretty flowers. And I think I might need to add some more soil, actually. It's quite relaxing working with a Wabikusa, though. With planting, at least I think it is. make the desk dirty. Are you messy when you escape and do things in aquariums? Yeah, yeah but I yeah. put the, the fabric below me. So. Oh, okay, I always get soil all over the carpet. Yeah, <laughs> I try to avoid it. Yeah. Please stay. Did you know the soil is magnetic? Yeah, I did find it out on some videos. Yeah. Somebody is using the magnets to get them out of the sand area. They do. Of the sand area. Yeah. We all discovered during a live, um, three lives ago, I think it was. 
Mm -hmm. Revolution. I find it makes things quite easy when you can uh, remove the soil that way. Okay. Is it anything you find particularly challenging? Yeah, moss. I hate moss. moss. <laughs> you hate moss, really? Yeah, yeah, I don't like it because when you trim it, it's go down. And then oh, you have to siphon it or... You do, you do, yeah. And then you end up... If you forget some, it will just take everything yeah. below that. Okay. Can I have a mister, please? Any challenge you? So what would you like? Mist. Mist, yeah. Misty. Yeah. Anything else you find that challenges you for that aquascaping? Mm, no. <laughs> no. I cannot think. About you can't think right now. <laughs> yeah. The pressure of being live. What do I find worse? I already forget that we are live. Mm. <laughs> Um, what do I find most challenging about aquascaping? Um, I think one of your friends is trying to take the mickey out of you. Uh, he says, <gasps> a question for Jan, when will you be able to show up in Launi again so that maybe, maybe we can talk and have coffee? Oh. That's, Launi is my, my bird city. Oh. And uh, we are coming there just, uh, just to visiting my parents and just a couple of days. So cool. and it's mm. difficult to find a time. But I would like to. Michal is... Is it Michal? What was his name? Uh, his name is... Michal. Um, no. No. Oh. I have a more Martin. friend. More friends? Martin. Martin Bash. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Too awkward. Cool. <laughs> I got <laughs> uh, Moving on to the next question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what is the next question? Um, what's your favorite fish? Favorite fish? Yeah. Oh. It was a Galaxy Rasboras. Oh, nice. Oh, they're cute. They are quite expensive, but, but I found a local breeder and they were quite cheap. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And I bought a Apistogramma Cacatuidis. Which I, one is that? Uh, is that the one that's got the it, red tail? Yes. 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 Uh, I actually, I saw it in George's video and he said that uh, some shrimps will survive. <laughs> it, Did didn't, it didn't happen with mine. <laughs> uh, we don't need to talk about that. Thank you, mate. Uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> this is looking amazing. Yeah. How do they look? Kay. Look at mine from the front. I am putting some final touches. Oh. Ooh. So I this is this is well, actually my last plant what I want to use. You have to spray this regularly then. Like yeah. In longer term. Yeah, I guess yes. As, Especially from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. This is the last plant what I want to use. It's a verticillata. Hyd yep. Hydrocotyl verticillata. I like that one too. Yeah. And I just want to tuck it in in, in these tight places and I hope it does survive and does grow mm. out of the, like on the sides of the tank. Yeah. But I don't know yeah, if, if it does it. Really it's really a good time, so. I yeah. think. Getting there. Yeah, I think I'm nearly done. Yeah, I am done. <gasps> it's a bit of time, yeah. Oof. Maybe can we can fill it with a bit of water? Yeah. I have one last plant to put in. Do you have a jack? Mm. Oh, this smells so nice. What is it? Bacopa? Yeah, Bacopa. Mm. Now there is a moment of truth. <laughs> if the ball will Be leak. A red colander. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, the small one, what you have. I you have, have a small one. one yeah. Yeah. I have a mini colander. I was watching one so of George's videos and then went shopping um, later on that day and they had a little special offer of these nesting <laughs> colanders. <laughs> so I will fill it to the top. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, nice, yeah. Really scent. nice. I think he's going to run to his desk later, isn't he? Might be, yeah. Or, uh, one for That's Thomas, one for Raddy. He's going <gasps> to have which one? About my desk. <coughs> my desk. I like Jan's. Yeah, I like Jan's too. Oh, thank you. Because it's open, you know, like, because yes. there's no barrier you to it. You can see it. You can see the nature, you can yeah. touch the nature, where this is like... It's a bit more closed. I think for me, my this God. is like... the. The beauty of Wabikuza is this, un, you know, this no barrier between you and the no. nature. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And one last touch of it, I would like to put there the floating plant. Uh -huh. This is a 
floatant. Is it Philanthus Philanthus floatant. Floatant. Otherwise known as red root floater. Mm. Yeah. Just a couple of them. Lighting. Yeah, but this is our alternative one. Yeah, this is. Yeah, sorry, this is our alternative. Because mm, we were going to have red root floaters, and then we actually ended up going with. Oh, did I get this right? Sil. No, Salvinia. Salvinia. Alcrulata. Um I quite like that because it's a little bit furry on the leaves. <coughs> and I'm done. <laughs> Did you talk us through the escape? Yeah. Tell us about your escape, yeah? Yeah, okay. It does have a Schleister, okay. It does have a sand in the front, then is a barrier of the rock, and behind this barrier there is that uh ring out of the metal that we showed you. And to those rock I I just vetched uh, Anubias, uh, some Bussafalandra Kedegang, and some green Bussafalandra over there. And now when we are coming to the front, there is like, uh, uh, there is a Monte Carlo, and also Pogostamon Hell Ferry, uh, my favorite Cryptocorina Parva, and it, it does all goes to the foreground. Now there is a mid-ground, there is a Simon says 53B. This red plant, <laughs> I forget the name. Alternatera. And yeah, there is also some Rotala or Tandofolia. And this plant, I forget. Uh, Myriophilium matrigrosens. Yep. It grows and then, tall. Yeah. And then we go to, to the foreground, where is a Pogostamon stellatus and Pogostamon erectus, which is not so much erected at this moment. <laughs> Hopefully it will be when we place it in there. Yeah, and on the side, I place the hydrocotylva chlata. I hope it will creep down out of it. And there is a floater. For the maintenance, I would change the water maybe, or tap it out, but it will get evaporated. I think I am done as well. Great. How would you change the water in the water compared to the aquarium? Uh, I, I, I was using the air, hall, uh, air tubes. What's your yeah, name? airline. Airline like tubes, yes. Thin yes thanks. Tube. Yeah. And then you just, uh, so you just siphon into a bucket. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly yeah. like this, yes. And then pour it in slowly again. Yeah. But at the end, I didn't change the water in the Vabicus <laughs> at all. I, I was just stopping the evaporation. And it looked well, and it was growing well. So. Should we show my one as well? I think I'm done. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um, do we have paper wiping glass or towels? No, no, those are. I'll use my trophy towel. Try not to uproot anything. Ooh. Da -da -da. Okay then. So I have got in mine. Ooh. I can remember this. At the front, I have a small section of sand, and then I've got Cryptocrine Parva and a little bit of Monte Carlo. Then, as you go back, I have Lindernia rundifloria, which is the one with the pretty flowers. Um, a little bit of Altona Theory. Um, which version did you use? Rosalia. Rosalia. Was that Rosafolia? Rosafolia. And I have a little bit of Bacopa carolina, which smells really nice. Some Hagrophilia pinnata feeder tied to the wood. A little bit of Bucephalandra ketagang, right by here. And I have a little bit of Anubis mini coin, just tucked into the front. Some Christmas moss. And at the back, over here, I have some Rotala rondifolia. Uh, yeah, I've got one. Yeah. Mariophila matricrosenza and some Hydrocotyl vitriculara and a little bit of floating plants, which is the Salvina Aracolata. Aracolata, which I haven't used in years and can't remember the name of. And I have a tiny, tiny little bit just at the front, which is slightly collapsed right now, of Prosopinaca palustris cuba. Just an accent. It's a very open plant, so I think it should work at the front. 
it's jungle style, mm. I would call it. Yeah. But it's really nice. Should we put them on the stands so people can yeah. see how it would look? Yep. Because okay. yes. we've got these really nice stands as well. Can we bring the stands over here? Should we move them? Yeah. Let's move them. I fell it on, <laughs> on top. Da, da, da. Whew, this is a bit scary. To move a wabby -kusa. Oh, they look quite cute. They do. They do look cute. It's I really like nice. yours. Ah, oh, thanks. I like yours as well. Oh, that's good. So we did good. Great. Yes. Should we stand back so the cameraman can come in? So we've got two different styles of Wabikusa, both in Dua sets with the Dua lights and the stands and next to Rachel's Aquarium. I have to mention Rachel's Aquarium. So what did you think of your first live stream? It was going great. It was good? I think you did good. It uh, ran like really fast, I think. Yeah, how long did we take? Almost over. Okay, about an hour. That's not bad. So should we do our final thanks? Probably. I think we should. Did we announce our winner? Have we announced a winner yet? Ooh. Yeah. Have we got a winner? Yes. Yes. Do you want to do that, George? Do you want to borrow my mic and announce the winner? Uh, okay. I will go for it. Okay. okay. You don't want a meeting moment. <laughs> okay, congratulate all. I need to get my phone out because it's a, uh, an interesting username. So, congratulations. Who got the answer right, which was Anubius. Well, the exact right answer is Anubius with a capital A, S P, lowercase, full stop, and then Smurf with a capital S, <laughs> and then singular inverted commas. Yeah. So, congratulations, Mr. Stofferson. So, if you email Tropica, no, live at Tropica dot com uh, congratulations you will have a goodie bag on your way oh yeah. and we should probably mention that the anubia smurf is our i think i'm going to say notorious april fools plant is that we released we released on april the first with this really really well edited video that tom has made showing a bright blue anubius but we didn't really factor in that apparently april fools is a northern european thing only oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> is it only in Europe? In Northern Europe. In Northern Europe. Northern Europe only. So we've, a lot of people were very <laughs> upset when they realised. Cultural differences. Cultural differences, exactly. Some people don't find it funny. They don't, no. That's okay. Yeah. But um, I guess it's final thanks time. So thank you, everybody that's been watching. And of course, Amazonia, our sponsor. Uh, thank you, George, for thank being you. here. And Pleasure. man in the live chat and Yan for coming here. Thank you. And having fun. Nice All of our viewers as well. Yeah. And obviously, last but not least, the Tropica team behind the scenes yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, today yeah. and everybody that works here that helps this happen because so, we so could not do it without the full Tropica team so of people so, yeah, working here. So please subscribe to our newsletter and follow the social media channels at mm. Tropica Aquarium Plants is the username or variations of that used on all our platforms and if you feel inspired after we did our lovely little Wabakusa workshop then please use the hashtags uh, Tropica Aquarium Plants Made with Tropica, Tropica Live follow our social media prof uh, profiles <laughs> and tell people about our plants and our channels we like to inspire people Okay. No. So, so. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never lack though. She saw the stone, you know how that go.